Okay, so for, for the last section uh, for this week, we'd like you to uh, create, use everything you know from this week and create a perfume. Um, we've got some perfume bottles. Yeah. So we'd like to do your best possible perfume for the skin you can. Yeah. Yeah. Having said that, should perfume be put on the skin? Should perfume be put on the skin? No. No perfume. Well, I, we have a lot of problems. Francois and myself were t talking about the problems with legislation. Yeah? I actually blame one person for all, the pro all of the problems we've got in the world about legislation against perfume. <laughs> no, it's for all the other problems, yeah? <laughs> it's for all the other problems. <laughs> but, yeah. When I first joined the perfume industry in 1971 at Pico, we didn't make skin perfumes. We made handkerchief perfumes. Anybody seen the movie Perfume? Actually, yeah, the idea of putting perfume onto a handkerchief makes much more sense. Yeah? And people for 200 years have known that perfume irritates skin. That's it. Perfume irritates skin. It's not supposed to be on the skin. Most people knew that. So they put it on their coats, they put it on handkerchiefs, they put it on gloves, yeah? To perfume gloves, not to perfume skin. And then Chanel Number no. 5 came to the market, yeah? And after many years became successful. And somebody said, asked Coco and Chanel, where should a woman put her perfume? Where does she say? Do you remember? Do you know this one? Anywhere you want to be kissed. Which are all the most sensitive parts of the body. <laughs> all the most likely to suffer from irritation. Yeah? So the craziness that we've got a, lo a lot about irritation, about perfumery legislation, comes from the overuse of perfume on the skin in areas that it should not be, yeah? Perfume irritates skin. Coco Chanel's fault. <laughs> not seriously, but you know, I mean, um, but certainly perfume, perfume ideally should not, not be put on the skin. It's not the best location. Well, that's slightly different because it's for, for closing the pores. I never use it, but uh, yeah, but uh, for perfume, clothes, hair, fur coats, <laughs> could get lynched, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, hold perfume like really, really well, yeah, cotton wool, spray perfume onto cotton wool, put it in your pocket, last days, gives a lovely fragrance, yeah, save you a lot of money too, and will not ir irritate, yeah. Just a point. So, if you'd like to make your handkerchief perfumes, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. well, you're going to make them in the small pots. You'll need at least 100 drops so that we can then put them into a bottle for you and put alcohol so you can take them home and, uh, and try them. Yeah. <laughs>